Hello everybody, welcome back to more RPG Maker MZ tutorials. Today we are going over the Actors tab in the database. Actors are objects that the player can control. Let's open up the Actors tab on the database. As you can see, we have a list of 8 default actors. We're going to keep them as is for now, but we are going to get rid of them in a later episode in favor of our own party members. Let's go over the basics of each thing in the database. So this is the face. These are the images. This is the face sprite that appears in the menu. The character sprite is the actual sprite that moves around on the map. And if you're using side view, you will see this sprite for the battler. It will appear on the right side of the screen. As you can see, we have traits. These traits are various abilities that this character will give to themselves and the party. Let's do a certain. Let's do this one. We're going to have this take more damage to certain. We're going to have this have resist a certain element. That means it will be immune to that status effect. Let's give them immunity to poison for now, just for an example. We can delete this at any time by pressing the delete key, and then that's all cleared up. So, here are the general settings. The name is here and will be displayed by default. The nickname will be displayed above the name. The class is what determines what skills and how fast they will level up. These two indicate how far they are in level and how far they can go in max level. On the profile tab, you can have as whatever you want, but this will appear in the menu and not in combat. Next up, we have the equipment slots. For each type of equipment slot you have in the types tab, which is here, no, ah, there it is, it's right here. Each slot will get its own object. This is the equipment that it will be in by default. Now, let's learn how to make a blank one. Let's click on change maximum and change it to nine. So now we have our default actor. We're gonna name this. We're gonna name this three question marks, but you can name this whatever you want. We'll cover up how to fill this all in later. We're gonna fill this in with faces from our character creator episode, which we'll get to later. This is everything you need to know about making an actor in the database. I'll be happy to see you play around with all these traits in the menu. Make sure you read the details before you can see this. As you can see, we have a lot of stuff here to play with. Feel free to experiment and see what goes where. And you can have more than one of these. You can have a lot of them, by the way. Anyway, I'll be happy to see you play around with this thing in a later episode. My pleasure, and I'll see you guys next time.